And welcome back, and thank you for joining us for the second half hour of The Factor Uncensored. A reminder, the road to success does not always look the same for everyone. If college doesn't work for one person, there are other options out there, like trade schools and apprenticeship. Nationally known rapper and legend from the Ghetto Boys, Brad Jordan, a.k.a. Scarface, is a huge advocate for non-traditional means of success. And I always say, to have a trade... Is, is just as good as a college degree, in my opinion, because my grandfather was a master plumber, mm -hmm. and he took care of his family very well. His school wasn't interesting to me, and I'm sure that it's like that with a whole lot of other children out here. You know, school don't interest them. They, they work with their hands well. They, they use their minds. I want to see these kids make something out of themselves, man. Now, if you're more of a creative person, DJing is definitely an option as a trade. Let's talk about it with some of our Factor DJs here on the Factor Uncensored. We have with us DJ Paul, DJ Superstar, and DJ Yon Don. Glad to have you all here on the Factor Uncensored. And many of you are now reaching out, helping other young people. But first of all, for those who say, can you make a living off of DJing, what would you say to that? You can always make a living off DJing, like you can make a living off anything if you put your mind to it and actually like have a work ethic and you can figure out your avenues, figure out your income and, and make it steady. A lot of people don't have a heart for the industry, man. It's very cutthroat. So mm -hmm. people like to try it and then they'll just get out of it, mm -hmm. you know, and that's something that you really got to stick into. And man, I know plenty of people that are making a living I doing bought my own just DJing. house off of DJing. So, I mean, there's plenty and of And repeat that for those who didn't hear that. I bought my own house from DJ. Oh, you took my sound effects. I you take my sound effects like that. thing downloaded. So, DJ Paul, what led you to that career? My dad actually opened a DJ store back in 1999, and from there, I didn't. I wasn't a DJ at that time, and then that led from him being in the band and me going into like just playing music. Didn't know how to mix, and then I just self-taught myself like to go further and further, and then I became what was DJ Lil Paul, and now. DJ Paul of mm -hmm. HTX. And of course, uh, DJ Superstar, you have, you started out as a club DJ oh, and yeah. you've transitioned into radio as well. Right. So when I um, do open up Superstar Spin Academy again, I'm definitely adding that element. Um, it wasn't cool for females back in the gap. I've been in doing this for 20 years, believe it or not, and it was not cool. It was not, it was when turntables. <laughs> we had to carry turntables and records <laughs> and crates. And, crates. Yeah. and I mean, oh my God, if I can go back to my 20 year old self to go back and talk to her, I would definitely give her so much advice. But yeah, you can definitely make a living. Anybody. Been doing this for 20 years if you stick with it. Yeah. And have the love for it. You gotta really have a passion for it. Like when I first started out, man, I used to carry records for people mm -hmm. and go there and hook up their setups and everything and just stand there and watch my that was mm -hmm. me that learning. Was you know what I mean? There wasn't no DJ That's class. Your apprenticeship. Like, yeah, yeah, that was your apprenticeship. I mean yeah. same way now. Like as a journeyman electrician, you know, when I was an apprentice, I used to have to go carry tools for people, carry wire, carry you know, do all sorts of things and it's just a chain of command and learn you know, you get to learn things and see things like You're in the mix. tricks of yeah. the trade that the you mix. don't that you know, you can go take a DJ school, but if if you're never put into the like the thick of things, mm -hmm. you're never really gonna figure out because you can't apply that knowledge to the situation. And we're not just mm -hmm. talking about mixing music on this turntable. We're talking about knowing the technology, knowing to, how to engineer, oh, yeah. how to mix sounds and music. Yep. So yeah. all of that's part of the process. Yes, sir. yes it yes, is sir. part of the process. And um, with technology, first of all, technology is cool and everything, but you made a good point. A lot of people think that it is an overnight thing. Mm -hmm. No. Physically and mentally, to, we yeah, get it is got. It is like um, DJing is one of the things that you have, to, it is redundant. And if you don't have that mindset to keep going with it, you know, you're going to fall off. That's why you have to have the love for it. And you have to ride a, a bicycle before a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you yeah, have to learn balance. on the turntable ain't, ain't before no you go into this, this like, all you know technology I mean? stuff. So, I mean, yeah. And, and, and for those, you guys have decided you, Paul, Paul, you started your own school. Yeah. yeah. You have started giving lessons as well. And Superstar, you've been doing it for years with mm -hmm. the Spin Academy. Yes. So why did you decide, was there, did you get individuals coming to you saying, how do I DJ? I've had a few people reach out, but to me, 
to try to teach DJing is kind of like beneath where I'm at with it. I really want to teach what like I see when I'm DJing, mm -hmm. right? Like when I, what I learned over 15 years of DJing is paying attention to small detail, being as efficient as I can with my brain and my hands, hands over here, me over here, you know, doing multiple things at once. And what a lot of people learn right away and think they can become DJing is beat matching. Mm -hmm. They go and they learn how to beat match a song and they think that they can, you know, be out there with the best of the best. And it really isn't. Like, you got to be able to, to become a DJ, crowd. Yeah. read the yeah. crowd, Jobs. develop a style, like have characteristics and what sets you apart from other people. Because the basics that you learned mm -hmm. is just the basics that everybody knows. Mm -hmm. That's and right. you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. you, you got to be able to build on top of that. So when I try to teach, I don't try to teach just, oh, here's beat match and, you know, here are the technical uh, terms for this and this and that. Like, I'm trying to teach the 15 years that it took me to learn and cram it into these lessons. Mm -hmm. You get to learn everything yeah. that I learned. The equipment, the the way that I, the, you know, like, bar, uh, music has structure. You know what I mean? Like, every like music is math, mm -hmm. you know? And that's what I want to be able to teach people beyond just being able to feel the music and hear it and put their hands on it and put it together. No, what if a young person has a parent or parents who say, there's no future in that for you. Oh, I got a lot to say about that. <laughs> but to keep it complex and real, real, like, you know, on point, trust me, like I said, I bought my own house, my own truck. I've DJed since 2001, if I'm not mistaken. Look where I'm at now. Look where these guys are at now. You know what I mean? I mean, we're able to pay our bills. We're able to go further in life. We're able to take vacations, do our thing. But, you know, like I tell a lot of people, is that, hey, when you come to these schools, be ready to learn how to set your equipment, how to plug in your equipment, equalize your equipment to go to the further extent and, you know, so forth and so forth. And for those who are interested in your school, where should they go? Uh, they can follow me at Instagram at DJ Paul of HTX. I'm pretty sure as well with uh, DJ Superstar and DJ Undone. Um, they can follow no, me. No, mine is Superstar Spin Account. <laughs> um, and I'm Yon Don 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 SBK. Hey, yeah, well, here we go. Just take a <laughs> but, I mean, time, at the end of the day, hey, anybody can do it. put all we'll of take their care locations of on the Isaiah Factor <laughs> Instagram, so look for that. Thank you, guys. Always look good to see the Factor great. DJs back in the house. <laughs> yeah, Still ahead.